The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days. Wonder around with you. Hello, my darlings. How are you all doing? Hope you've all had a merry, merry Christmas and enjoyed your day. Um, yeah, it's freezing today. Uh, sun's out, but bloody hell, it's cold and it's windy. Uh, we didn't get a white Christmas. Well, we didn't here. I don't know whether any of you did, but we never had a white Christmas. But we really did have a nice time, me and Les. It was just me and Les this year. Um, the kids are coming down New Year for um, a post-Christmas. Uh, so we had like a really relaxing, chilled day. We got up. We... Had a coffee, opened our presents, then we had a nice champagne breakfast, then we chilled for a little while, had dinner, watched some films. Yeah, just a really chilled, do nothing day. Um, and it was lovely for a change. I mean, we do love to have the family down, you know, and a mad Christmas with everybody here, but it was nice for a change just to, you know, chill and do nothing. Boxing Day today. A lot of the shops are closed, aren't they? I was going to go out to the sales, but a lot of the shops are closed, so I think I might go out tomorrow instead and see what bargains are to be had. And um, yeah, I really do hope you've all had a great time. I really do. Uh, next thing, New Year, isn't it? 2023. Um, and thank you for all your Christmas wishes and all your lovely, lovely comments on my last video. You guys are just absolutely amazing. I love you all so much. And I know I say it all the time and I'm just talking to you down a camera really. And But I really do mean it. You mean the world to me. And when I started my YouTube channel, it was, you know, it's still a hobby. I do it for a hobby. I don't do it for money, for gain or anything. I do it because I really enjoy doing it and sharing my life with you. And I'm so happy that you are coming along on this little journey with me and sharing all the fun and laughter and hauls and try-ons and vlogs and just sharing it with me. It really does. It really, really does mean the world to me. And you know what? I forgot to tell you as well. I went to see mum before Christmas. Uh, what day was it? So um, Wednesday, last Wednesday. I went to see mum. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what, guys. That was the best Christmas present I could have asked for. I got there. I'll insert a picture here of what she looked like when I got there. Honest to God, we had the best hour together we really really did when i got there she got this christmas tree hat on and she was singing we were singing carols together she was really talkative and i could understand her and it was just the best thing ever i'm so so glad that i, I got to see her before christmas and she looks so well and that Christmas hat that she got on, she was obsessed with it. <laughs> she really, really was. And cause it's like, it was quite heavy and it kept falling off. Every time she moved and she was, you know, jigging about in the chair to the carols and we really had a nice time. And every time it fell off, it, it'd go, oh my God, it's gone again, like that. And we was just owling. We really had a lovely hour together. And yeah, that was the best Christmas present ever, ever. She is thriving in this new care home. She really, really is. At the last care home, she was very inward. She wouldn't talk. Well, she couldn't. She couldn't get any words out. She wasn't really mobile, you know, but she's up dancing now. She's conversing with you. The, the change is incredible. It really, really is. And I'm so thankful that we got together in this beautiful care home. It's, it's gorgeous. It really, really is. And the staff, 
they are amazing and they have really brought mom out of her shell they really really have she's so loud <laughs> i spoke to my dad today and he said i've just got back from seeing mom and i went oh, okay because he was at uh, my sister's yesterday for christmas dinner so we went to see mom today and uh, he says i opened the door he says i could hear her before i could see her <laughs> singing again Honestly, but she's always loved music. She always has loved music and dancing. So, yeah, they've really brought that out in her because they've always got the music on the radio or, you know, the music on the telly and stuff. So I'm so, so happy that she's doing well. And I can't wait to go and see her in the new year. But I took her presents and stuff and I got her a card and I opened it and I read it to her. And she went, oh, that's nice, like that. And I, honestly, she's so funny. And um, as we was going, she grabbed my hand and she went, come with me. And she stood up and Sophie, the care home manager, was there. We was having a little chat. And she stood up and Sophie was right in front of her like this. And she grabbed my hand and she went, come with me. And I was like, where are we going? She stood up and she looked at Sophie and she went, can you move out of the way, please? As clear as, as I've just said it couldn't get I just can't get over it honestly so yeah she's doing really really well because a lot of you have asked about mom she's doing brilliant and um, like I say she was just obsessed with that bloody Christmas hat I've also I've put a picture here as well that um Sophie sent me Christmas day uh, with Santa so I'll pop that in as well so you can see that but yeah I love her so much and it's just so heartwarming to see that She's not regressed, she's progressed in this new home. It's just amazing. Anyway, I'm just, you know, wanted to share that with you because I forgot to tell you um, in my vlog. Oh my God, how funny was the baking? <laughs> you know what though, it tasted really nice. It was supposed to be a snowflake, but oh, I don't know what it looked like at the end. And all of you guys were saying, oh, my God, Max, you know, so funny. The way I just swiped it off the counter onto the tray. Never thought that there was like a, a drop like that from the counter onto the tray, that it had just flopped. But you know what? Can't beat a tryer, can you? I can't be perfect at everything, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. Right, anyway, let's get into this little uh, what I got for Christmas 2022. There's a few things. Me and Les didn't go wild this year. We'd already said that we wasn't going to because, you know, as you get older, if you want something, you go and get it, don't you, um, throughout the year. And I find it quite difficult at Christmas to get to know what to get, especially for Les. It's so difficult to buy for because he's got everything. Um, so we said that we wasn't going to go mad this year and we haven't, but he has bought me a few nice bits. He always does. He always says, oh, I'm not going to do this, but he still does. Um, so where shall I start? I'll start with these bits here first. He's bought me some nice random bits. He knows that I love barbecue sauce and steak. So he bought me this. It's a steak sauce collection and we've got barbecue flavour and black pepper flavour because two of my favourite things is steak and barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah, he bought me those. I don't know where he, he went to get these presents, but he went out on Christmas Eve. So, yeah. And then he also bought me this. This is a little Baileys gift set. So there's three miniature Baileys and three lint chocolate, which again is one of my favourites. And in there we get a Baileys original, Baileys with a hint of coffee. So I thought that would be nice actually in a coffee, which I'm going to have when I've done this video. And Baileys with a hint of orange truffle, which I thought would be nice in a hot chocolate. So yeah, he got me those as well. Love Baileys. He knows me so well. And then he also bought me this. It is a cocktail shaker set by Absolute Vodka. And it's got the little miniature vodka in there. The um, uh, syrup to make the cocktail. A little measure. And this is actually the shaker. This bottle, I really like it. And the ingredients in here are to make a... 
passion fruit martini. Oops, I'm gone. Passion fruit martini. So uh, I might try that later on as well. I haven't drank any of the alcohol that he bought me because I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, really looking forward to trying that. He also got me a little bottle of Bottega Gold Prosecco. Little gold bottle. And that's got some little chocolates in as well. I think I'm going to keep that for New Year's Eve. How nice is that bottle? The Bottega um, Prosecco. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't drink that often. Honestly, I'm not a drunk. <laughs> but it's Christmas and I'm not really a drinker. And I used to be when I was younger. But these days, I don't really drink a lot. We very rarely have a drink in the house. Uh, except for at Christmas, so that's why he buys me alcohol at Christmas. Not that I've got to explain, but I don't want you to think that I'm a bit of a pisshead, because I'm not. Right, and he also bought me some new gin glasses, because there's two in there. Uh, gin balloons, they're called. They're quite big, you know. Um, I picked up my gin glass the other day, and the whole rim about that that thick of the rim, just come off perfect. As I picked it up, the rim was still there and the glass was in my hand. I have no, it was like a perfect cut and it was my uh, personalised one with an M on as well. So yeah, he's bought me some new ones. I don't, I don't even know what happened to it. Right, the next thing that he bought me is this Baylis and Harding signature collection, little tower which is really, really nice. I love those little boxes. I'm definitely going to keep those. And you get all sorts of little bits and pieces in here. And I haven't bought my glasses in, have I, to tell you. Um, does it say? It's sweet mandarin and grapefruit. Oh, it tells me there. <laughs> Body wash, shower cream, body lotion, hand cream, bath soap crystals and the body polisher. It actually tells me in there. What a knob. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like Baylis and Harding stuff. It smells lovely, especially that signature one, the um, sweet mandarin and grapefruit. So refreshing. And then he also bought me the hand wash and hand soap to match as well, which is lovely. And that is in the same fragrance sweet mandarin and grapefruit love that because i like to keep a hand wash and hand cream by my sink in the kitchen you know for when i've finished washing up and cream my hands and that and then he also bought me this this is a lovely makeup bag look at these flowers on there they're gorgeous aren't they it's navy blue and pink reminds me a little bit of ted baker it really does and inside, it's got some Baileys and Hardy goodies again. But this scent is um, something rose. Something rose. Something rose. Boudoir. I think it says boudoir rose. I think that's what it says. And this is a body lotion. This is shower cream. This is shampoo. And this is conditioner. So there's a shampoo and little shampoo and conditioner in there as well. How nice is that? And I love, love that bag. So I've got plenty of uh, toiletries to be going on with. And then the next thing that he bought me was this. It's a uh, Friends um, Revolution collaboration makeup kit. And in here, there's the Rachel palette, the Monica lip gloss in that beautiful nude colour. They're definitely my colours. A caramel latte lip mask. Then there's the Rachel lip gloss, which is a clear one. Vanilla Latte Lip Scrub, the Phoebe Palette, and the Phoebe Lipstick. How nice is that? 
So there's two palettes, two glosses, two lip scrubs and a lipstick. I absolutely love it. And he knows that I love Friends. Les is not a fan, but I am a Friends fan. And yeah, really, really like that. Can't wait to try those out. And then he also bought me some cosy socks. <laughs> left the price on. Um, two pairs of slouchy cosy socks. So you've got like this argyle pattern and then just like this oatmeal pattern there. Love, love. Love cosy socks and loungewear. You guys know this. And then he bought me this. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a cardigan. He got it me in a size large. Again, he's left the price on. It was from Primark. <laughs> and it was £16. But it's this gorgeous ribbed cardigan in like this um beige colour and it's really really long it's a maxi card again right up my street no pockets or anything it's just edge to edge which is perfect absolutely love love that he knows that I love my cardigans and my loungewear and then he also bought me three new Pandora charms so a couple of Christmases ago, Les bought me this Pandora bracelet here and I'd got charms on it, but it kept coming open and I was so worried about losing the charms that he'd bought me because some of them are really special and are from um, like this one. This bell dress here was from um, Florida, from Disney World in Florida. And I mean, they're all special, but you know, um, I, I was so scared of losing them. So I bought this little safety chain with Mickey Mouse climbing up can you see there and I put it on this bracelet but if it come open the safety chain just come off and I thought what the hell is going on here so I went into the Pandora shop and apparently it's a special safety chain with like little rubber bands inside so if it comes open it doesn't slide off because the silicon bands stop it sliding off. £70 for the, the safety chain. And I said to Les, I said, you know what? I says, I might as well just get myself another bracelet. They're £55. So I treated myself to a new Pandora bracelet. It's just got this little heart clasp on it. Can you see? So I'm just wearing that one without any charms on because it had without any charms on there's no weight on it so it's not snapping open or anything so i'm just wearing that on its own that's my other one and this is uh the new one which is almost nearly full again i think i'd probably get about four more maybe six more charms on there so he bought me this one which is a beautiful m and i absolutely love it and then he also bought me Oh, he's on backwards. I think I'm going to have to do it like that. This one, which is Rudolph, which I thought was a cow. <laughs> That's how bad my eyes are. I was like, what is it? It's a cow. And then I spotted his little red nose. So he bought me a little Christmas Rudolph. And he also bought me... Is that the one? Which way around is this? I don't know whether I've got that the right way up. But it's a little... And gone. I think that's the right way. It's a little cat sitting in a crescent moon, and they've got blue sapphire stones in there. I don't know whether I've got that the right way up. I can't say. Bloody hell! I'm sure I'm going blind. Going blind. Yeah, I think it is the right way up. And gone. It's absolutely gorgeous. So he bought me those as well. And what he does, he hangs them on the tree. Yeah, and, the, and the trees round the house, there was one in the hallway. I've got two trees in the living room, so there was one on the big one and one on the small one. Yeah, so he bought me those as well. I forgot to tell you as well, Les also bought me a selection box, a Maltesers one, which has been demolished. I sat and made myself feel sick with that last night. <laughs> <laughs> it was Maltesers and Friends, so there's like a Milky Way and a Twix and a Mars in there, as well as the uh, Maltesers bits and pieces. Uh, I think there's only a Mars left and a um, Teasers bar, 
I ate everything else. And he also, I opened one of my presents and it was um, a pack of donuts from Morrison's, strawberry donuts. <laughs> he wrapped them up for me because he knows I love them as well. I thought that was so funny. And um, yeah, so he got me those as well. I just forgot to mention that. And the last thing he bought me, guys, is what I'm wearing. So I'm just going to move the camera around there and show you, okay, what it, what it is. So, guys, he bought me this gorgeous um, cardboard set. It's like this, it's in um, like a chocolate brown colour. Hang on, let me just turn this ring light off because... Is that better? You can see the colour better. It's in this gorgeous, like, chocolate brown. It's ribbed with these balloon sleeves. It's beautiful. It's got these, like, tortoise shell buttons down the front. And it's got a matching skirt. And it is a really, really long skirt, right down to my ankles. And it's got a split at the back. I absolutely love it. I'll tell you what. He knows me so well. It's gorgeous and it's so, so soft. This was from Primark as well. It's beautiful, but I had to put this on because it's really, really nice. So, yeah, he got me that as well. And that was the last thing. So, I'm just going to go back to my chair so I can say goodbye to you. So, my darlings, that is everything that I received from Les for Christmas. I've already showed you what my son bought me, haven't I? Uh, somebody asked where the, uh, you know, the white fluffy like snowsuit loungewear was from it was from tesco's as was the gray one the missy the, the white one was mrs hinch um it's there actually i had it on last night um and i'm going to be putting it back on in a bit it was from tesco's uh the mrs hinch range so yeah and that's it that's what I got for Christmas off Les uh, 2022 and I love everything and now I can get stuck into the alcohol. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have a drink this evening. I had a couple of glasses of Prosecco yesterday um, with my dinner and stuff. Uh, but, you know, after a while, I start to get a bit of headache on Prosecco. So I didn't drink too much. I think I had about three glasses and that was it for me yesterday. That's all I drank all day, Christmas Day. But I think I'm going to have a little drink today. I'm definitely going to have a Bailey's coffee and I'm definitely going to try the cocktail, I think. So, yeah, but I'm going to keep the little bottle of Prosecco for New Year's Eve. But we've got all sorts of stuff to drink in there we've got bloody bottles of lager and cans of lager and bottles of wine and all sorts of stuff so yeah i think i might have a drink tonight now you know i ain't got to be cooking or anything we, we've got bubble and squeak today that's what we're having with our leftovers from yesterday does anybody else do that we're, we're having bubble and squeak so i'm looking forward to that I love it so my darlings, I'm going to stop rambling on. Uh, nothing changes. It's not going to change in 2023 either. Is it? I'm still going to be rambling on. Uh, but I will see you all on... What day are we on today? Monday. I'll see you all on Wednesday for a beautiful try-on. I have got some gorgeous dresses to show you uh, that I've picked up from Sheen. And I'm going to try those... Uh, the one that I had from TikTok and the one that I had from Vinted as well. I'll try those on for you so you can see what they look like. So yeah, uh, Wednesday's video is going to be a try on. And then I probably won't see you then till next week because we've got family coming down Friday and they're staying till Sunday. So yeah, the weekend's going to be took up with festivities with the family. So and then we'll be back to normal next week new year and um, yeah lots of lovely stuff planned for you for the new year uh, if you did like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you haven't already please subscribe down below it's totally free it's totally my belly's rumbling <laughs> It's totally up to you. It doesn't cost a penny, but it really does help my channel to be pushed out there a little bit more by the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, that's me done for today. I'm going to go and eat some food and have a drink and I will see you all on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your Boxing Day. I love you guys loads. Bye.